In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can use Google Forms to create gradable quizzes for your students. For years, we've been able to use Google Drive to create surveys and questionnaires and things like that for our students, but they weren't really gradable unless you used an add-on like Fluberoo or something like that. Well now, Google has added some templates that make it really easy for teachers to create gradable quizzes in Google Drive and specifically in Google Forms. So let's look at how to get started doing this. Here I am in my Google Drive and you'll notice if I go up here to New and click, it lists some things that I can create new copies of. But if I just go down here to More, I can select Forms. Now I haven't clicked anything yet. You'll notice off to the right there's an arrow and again I haven't clicked but it pops open with some options. I can either create a blank form or create a form from a template and that's what I'm gonna do select from a template and when I do it takes me to the template gallery in Google Forms. Now there's another way to get there if you don't want to bother going through Google Drive you can just go to forms.google.com and it will take you directly to this screen here. And this looks like a limited version of what I get on this page, but all you need to do is click here on these arrows and it opens up with the entire list of templates. So I'm gonna jump back to the previous tab and close that one out. And I'm gonna go full screen, so hopefully you can see this a little bit better. But here are some forms templates that I can use and it can save me a lot of time. Now a lot of these are just for general use, personal use, work related use, but there at the bottom we have some education templates that we can use. Notice that there's an exit ticket, which would be great to use at the end of class. There's an assessment, which is pretty similar to what I'll be showing. There's a worksheet and a course evaluation template. So I recommend trying out all of these, but for this tutorial I'm going to focus in on the blank quiz. So I just clicked on blank quiz and it loads up what looks like the typical forms layout. And I can simply go up here and click on blank quiz and change the title to something else. Maybe something like Spanish AR verbs quiz. I can click to put in a form description and there's my description. And then I simply go down and click where it says untitled question and put in my first question. There's my question. And notice off to the right, we have the different question types. This can be a multiple choice question, check boxes, a drop down. It can be a linear scale. It can be multiple choice grid or paragraph or short answer. In this case, I'm going to stick with multiple choice. And then here I just put in my options. And so far, this seems very similar to just creating a typical form. But stay with me. There are some differences that you'll see. So give me a second. I'm going to type in four different options and then we'll resume. Okay, great. We've got four good options, but only one is correct. This one here, practican. And this is where the power of the quiz template comes in. Because I'm using the quiz template, I can go in and click where it says answer key and I can indicate which of these is the correct answer. So the correct answer is practican. That's now marked with a check mark as being the correct answer. Now before I move on, I should also go in and indicate how many points this is going to be worth. Let's say this question's worth one point. Now I can simply go down and click edit question and I get back out of the answer key and into the question building mode. Just like with the regular Google Forms, I can go in and mark this as a required question, which I think is a good idea for quizzes. So I am going to do that. And I'm going to go over here and use this button here to duplicate that question because my second question is going to be very similar to the first. So this time I want to say use practicar to say we practice. And notice that it still has the same answer marked as being correct. And so you have to watch out for this, especially if you're duplicating like I am. I duplicated the question. It also duplicated the answer key. And so as of right now, Google Forms thinks that practican is the correct answer when it's really not. It's practicamos. But regardless of that, I don't really want a multiple choice question this time. I would like to go in and choose short answer. Now with short answer, when you click on answer key, you don't get as many options. I can't really mark a short answer response as being correct automatically. But what I can do is I can provide some answer feedback to the student. So this feedback can be something like, hopefully your answer was practicamos and then click save. So that aspect of it isn't necessarily self grading, but at least you can provide some feedback back to the student. I would then click edit question again to get back to my form where I can add more questions if I need to. So you can see here at the right, I could click to add a third question and I could choose any of these options 
and continue building the quiz. Just like with any Google form, notice that you can add titles and descriptions, additional ones. You can also add images into the form and videos as well as sections. So you can create a second section and when they finish the first section it will continue on to the second section. So it's just a way to divide up a longer quiz or test into shorter segments that are easier for the students to manage. Okay, so let's pretend like I've built a 10 question quiz or something like that and now I'm ready for the students to take the quiz. What would that be like? Well, first, I would say that it's a good idea to go here to Color Palette and choose a color for your quiz. You can also click here to choose a pattern or a theme, and they've got these different themes to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to choose that one, click Select, and now I just click Send in the upper right corner. I can send these out to students that may be absent or to anyone that I want to take this quiz just by filling this out and clicking Send, or I could click this Link button copy the link by clicking copy and of course you can also shorten the URL which often is a good idea so I could copy that put it in Google Classroom put it on my Google site or really any web page or LMS and then when the students click the link or go to the appropriate website this is what they'll see they'll see the form they go in and put in their answers let's get this one right and then I'll put in an incorrect answer here okay click submit at that point, the students can click to view their score. Okay, it takes them here and it shows them the answers they got right and the ones they got wrong. In this short quiz, it looks like 100% correct. However, this second question is not yet graded. Google Forms is not really capable of deciding whether that's the right answer or not. And so as a teacher, I would need to go back here into the form and click Responses. And you'll notice what it says here, Individualized Feedback. Customize student feedback by grading individual responses by hand. Okay, so here it has some insights, some data on the questions. Here's the first question. 100% of the students have gotten it right, but you'll be able to see how many students picked the wrong answers that they were presented. So that's really good, useful data. Now down here with the open-ended question, the short answer question, you can see that there will be a list of the answers that have been given but also I can click here like I was prompted to by Google and click individual and I'll be able to go in and click to say yes that's worth a point or no it was not which in this case is the case uh, that's not correct so they get zero points now these individual scores that I've edited myself as the teacher they are pending until I click save so it's important that I do that now that I'm done correcting this, I could simply click here and I could download a list of all of the responses in CSV format, which works in Excel and other spreadsheet programs, Google Sheets, etc. I could print all responses or I could just leave it in paperless digital format. And of course the students already know how they did on the quiz because as soon as they finished, they got a report of how they did. So I'm really pretty excited about this new quiz template that Google has made available through Google Forms. I think it's a big step forward for Google Forms. In the past I used Fluberoo to do the same kinds of things, but I think the fact that it's built in to Google Forms is a great step forward and it's only going to get better, I believe, as Google comes up with new ways to enhance this quiz template. So I hope that you'll enjoy using the quiz template in Google Forms by accessing it the way I showed at the beginning, the Google Forms from template, and going down and choosing blank quiz. Or you could try some of these other templates as well. But I hope that you'll get some good use out of this. Thanks for watching, and please consider connecting with me on some of my social media platforms like Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students, and watch for a new video at least every Monday.